Hello, welcome back to Destiny. It's been months. There's reports a team of Guardians went dark near the old Skywatch. They were running a mission for Dead Orbit, had codes to a hidden array that could reconnect us to other colonies in the system. If we can find their ghosts, maybe we can open that array. Hello, I am uh, Grey Fox's child. <laughs> I am continuing this LP on for prosperity's sake. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we're back um, sorry for the delay and everything but you know, things happen things real, always happen real life happens yeah, shame that anyway, today um, I'm going to be completely honest, I forgot what happens in this video, I do know that I really like this mission though, and it has one of the best music tracks towards the end of it so yeah we'll, uh, we'll explore this together for the first time for the second time in my case. It looks very snowy. Well, you know, the Cosmodrome, it's always winter for, for some reason. In Soviet Russia, snow something's you, I don't know. Has anyone actually found any of those jokes funny apart from when they first heard it? Probably not, I don't know. You'd have to ask. That hive breeding ground. The Vanguard saved So yeah, we're, uh... Keeping the fallen busy. We're listening to our ghost, and as he says, more hive fighting. Which I I generally enjoy fighting the hive. They're pretty cool enemies. They can overwhelm you really, really quickly if you just stop paying attention for a while. Ah, yes, the um, brain dead swarm monsters. That no, no, they're not brain FPS dead. Game has to have. They're not brain dead. They have tactics. Are they like bees <clears throat> and ants? Are they like part of a collective intelligence, or uh, a little bit? But then again, so is every single AI in enemy in the game. Well, I don't mean I don't mean for game specific purposes. I mean for um for law reasons. I don't believe they have an overmind. There's another uh, there's another species in the game that takes that that uh, particular niche. Uh, are they bug creatures? Mm, sort of. Uh, it's not explained that well in the game, but uh, I believe the grimoire states that, or some offhand remarks states that. In order to survive, they feed off of the dead things of human culture, basically, like actual dead humans and such. And, oh, okay. Uh, I thought they were just like would feed off my VHS player, which you no, know, <laughs> that died, technically. Uh, also, brief reminder: yes, we are still in the desync town in tor in terms of the videos. Uh, I don't honestly rem think we'll be out of Desync City until the uh, until the second act, <laughs> which incidentally is actually coming up fairly shortly. I think we've got like two or three more missions to go. That's right. That's the kind of high production values that our viewers expect from us. I, you know, I could have re-recorded it, but then it, it it's you know, it's this whole thing. You where just I'm trying didn't to keep the first. Ugg. Well, no, it's not that. I would have. I would have still it's been UG. It's just have them. there's this whole thing I've been trying to do, keeping like the first recordings. Just I don't know how to explain it. Kind of for I kind of for purity's sake, I guess. I don't know. It's a dumb reason, I know, uh, but it's all right. I wouldn't want to lose UG either. It's it's fine. So, um, you may have noticed along the way that we've been crawling our way through battlefields between the, uh, the Fallen and the Hive. These guys aren't very friendly towards each other. At all. Oh, interesting. Warring factions. Yep. I think there is an instance of every faction fighting every other faction in the, vi in the, in the game. But, uh, I could be wrong, though. I think there's a couple that... 
will band together to try and kill you. You just picked up a couple of dad ghosts. Yep. They are they are quite dad. The daddest ghosts I've ever seen. <laughs> yep. Or uh, would that be the saddest? Uh, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, getting this chest is actually incredibly, incredibly frustrating. Um, <laughs> it's actually easier to drop in from the roof than to try and jump in from the bottom. Because as you can see, there's like no real way to get in here easily, except from over the top. So right, you got 40 energy sight and some spin metal. Nice. Yeah. There we go. Excellent. We got unstuck. So yeah, the uh, the dead ghosts, uh, we're picking them up as quest items to uh, reclaim some codes for this array we're heading to. Basically setting up, it's either communications, weapons, or some other space bullshit for Earth. So basically you have to kill the five boars to get their livers to hand into someone. Yeah. So we can make some pie or something, I don't know. Standard well, you know. MMO fare. These gore tusks actually have livers, so you know. Haha. <laughs> yeah, the, these <sighs> drops aren't incredibly rare. They're every every fallen you kill basically has a really high chance of dropping them, and you only need like three or four before the mission decides. All right, you've had enough. Let's go. I like how the mission decides. I've had enough. <laughs> also, uh. You may, if you've seen early videos of this game, you might notice this cave and recognize it. This is the infamous loot cave from, like, versions 1 to 1.5. Why would you disturb the remains? Do you pay respect? Do you press square to pay respects? Nope. You disturb the remains for that little uh, sound clip there. That uh, It's an easter egg that Bungie p uh, put in the game. Uh, there's this running joke in the in the Destiny community about the, uh, the, the guy in the tower called the Cryptarch um, who decodes the... Uh, he's basically your item identifier. This one still holds the you, get, you get unidentified items. Yes, he's Deckard Kane. You get unidentified items... You go to him, and he'll decode them. And originally, there was the uh, the RNG was pretty heavily bent against you. So even if you did get a really good high uh, or low rarity item, you would end up still getting fucked. And so Bungie decided, after taking out the loot cave, to to put in that little Easter egg. If you didn't catch it, it said. A million deaths is not enough for Master Rahul, which is the NPC's name. I didn't get it because I have my sound turned pretty far down. Right. So yeah, it's a it's a cool little touch. I liked it the first time I came across it. And in case you're wondering, no, I did not partake in the loot cave. I actually played the video game. I so what are we doing right now? We're doing some kind of challenge mission or something? No, actually, we're um. This is part of the story. We're um, actually on our way towards that array I previously mentioned. Fighting through Fallen along the way. Oh, I just saw it say no respawning, so... Oh, yeah, that... Um, every time you cross a certain threshold in a mission, um, basically it becomes checkpointed instead of respawning where you, where you died. That's all that means. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Station. Yeah. This is it. Uh, if you're in a party in a darkness zone, your party mates can, in fact, resurrect you uh, after a certain amount of time. Uh, if all of your party members die, you go back to the last checkpoint, though. And that's who needs party members when you've got Ugg. Exactly, Ugg is powerful. He slam dunked those fuckers back there. He's basically the. LeBron James or something. Kobe Bryant of space magic? He's Shaq. He knows Shaq. the Shaq Fu. <laughs> 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 I 
I don't know this LP, who am I? What am I doing here? <laughs> so, um, yeah, at this point, I think I'm still playing on the harder difficulty because uh, this was still um, pre. Uh, what you call it? What's the expansion? God damn, what's the new expansion's name again? The Taken King. Kings this is of Wolves? No, this is before the Taken King came out and restructured everything. So I'm still playing on the hard difficulty, so this section is actually kind of rough. Uh, the section after this is even rougher, but I think I managed to take it on pretty well and not die. So there's that to look forward to. Seems like you're getting a heap of weapons. Uh, yeah, but most of them at this point aren't really that great. Also, yeah. Remember okay, how I... I take back the LeBron James shark, uh, every other basketball thing I said? Uh, yeah, that, uh... I, I do remember saying something about spectacular whiffs uh, in a previous episode, and that was pretty much the one I had in mind. Yeah, that was pretty impressive. Not that much. <laughs> that, the camera. I'm gonna blame the camera completely on that one, honestly. Yeah. But, um. What's the saying? Uh, something never blames his tools. <laughs> I don't know the saying, but I get the meaning. An artist. I think it's like an artist never blames his tools or something <laughs> like that. There's the controls. I'll see if these codes Implying that LPs are artists. <laughs> uh, this one is definitely art. I don't know what you're fucking talking about. This is art in the same way that, um... I don't know. Current art students call art. Call what they do art. <laughs> So at the beginning of the uh, at, sorry at the beginning of the video, I mentioned how this was one of my favorite tracks in the game, and uh, yeah, I just I just really like this track. It feels kinetic, frantic, you know. It fits the mood. Uh, a lot of people uh, in the beta when it was out thought that this was like a little too much for this kind of mission, but I don't know. I like it. Those people are idiots. I say, as someone who can't actually hear the music. <laughs> For all I know, it could be like, I don't know, 90% synth. I'd have no idea. Nope, it's uh, strings and horns. Very, very little synth involved, if any. See, with with future space, I imagine um, a lot of synth. The composer for uh, for Destiny 1.0, I I liked a lot of his stuff actually. I believe it changed when the Taken King came out. I think they have a new composer now. I could be wrong though. It just didn't they didn't have any standout tracks to me on the soundtrack. Yeah, when I think um, future music, I think. Like uh, Deus Ex. Yeah, I can see that. Hey, look at that. He dunked it. Yeah. And look, the thing in the background is actually moving around, and it's. Uh, it's based on your progress. Every wave you complete, it moves a little bit more until uh, the final stage. Which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, that's all a bit lost when you're fighting everything. Cause yeah, I was going to say I didn't even notice there was a thing in the background that was moving. Yeah, uh, it pops out of this, it's a little bunker there at first, and then it uh, opens up those flaps that you see, and it rotates a little bit. But, I mean, if you're paying too much attention to the combat, you're more than likely just going to see it nothing there, and then at the end of the mission you're like, oh, there's a thing there now. 
Oh boy, is this gonna be a bullet sponge? Yeah, uh, unfortunately. This yellow guy takes a little bit. But it's okay, because I've got a super now. Sweet. See? Thank God you hit him. Half his health. Not bad. And the sniper can take care of the rest easily. Okay, I don't think you could actually need to change to an easier difficulty anymore. Well, honestly, the whole thing about sniper rifles is that their criticals are super big. So if you get a sniper rifle early in the game that's decently respectable, it'll carry you through half of the uh, main story missions. This array is controlled by the last war mind, Rasputin. It's connecting to defense constructs all across the system. There could be something out there to help us survive the darkness. Uh, Xylon 8. Yes. Sweet. <laughs> I knew I would get it right. I had complete faith in you. I had complete faith in myself. Good. Good. Faith is, faith is very good. As George Michael once said, you've got to have faith. It's true, he did. Also, hey, we got a better sniper rifle now. Nice. Color me unimpressed. It's not. It's not purple. It's it's not a color. Epic. It's not a color. It's just the absence of color. Also, yeah, uh, abrupt cut. I think this is a bit of a failure reel on my part. I'm sorry for what's about to happen. Well. Yeah, you can fall off the tower. I can't say I'm that surprised <laughs> that you do that. <laughs> I was trying to land on this stupid spire. I don't know what you want me. Th what, what, what do you want me to do about it? I just physics so right off the tower. Keep leading people to believe that. Look, it's. Ugg just wanted to <laughs> to leave this world. <laughs> He's too beautiful to live. Rest in peace, Ugg. Now for Ugg 2.0, a better, improved Ugg.